All right, this will be a quick video. This video is for those of you who think that Dolphin emulator, which is a 5.0 right here, the newest one, who think that for some reason Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, it's being upscaled. First of all, let me educate all of you. I know the difference between upscaling and I know the difference between a native eternal source rendering. What this is here, it's a native, eternal resolution source running through Direct 3D 11, DirectX 3D 11 graphics configuration, meaning that this, that this software here, it's utilizing my GPU to render this GameCube game in a native resolution. I even went a little bit further. I went to 3168. Okay, instead of 3840 by 2160, I went to 3168 for 4K. I went even higher. This is a native resolution on top of the uh, anti-aliasing, which is a two-time MSA AA and 16 times text uh, anisotropic filtering. I'm also using a force texture filtering and per pixel lighting. This is Direct 3D from Dolphin 5.0. Eternal. This is internal resolution, not external resolution. Meaning that you're going to be getting a source, a native 4K source resolution. So do me a favor, guys. Do your research before you start typing down and talking a bunch of nonsense. I do my research before I do a, a video. If you want to prove me otherwise, then prove me otherwise. But you can, because there's nothing there to prove, because it's right here. The proof is in the pudding, and pudding is right in front of you right here. Not only can I render this game in native 4K, but I can also use a 3D, stereoscopic 3D mode. I can also play this in a 3D monitor or in a 3D TV, okay? So, not only does Dolphin gives you ability to enhance your games from GameCube, NVU, NV, but at the same time, it gives you the ability to use them in a 3D mode. So there you have it. There. Take a good look at this. This is Direct 3D 11, okay? And this is my X900E right here. So you want me to show you again? You want to see again uh, native 4K Twin Snakes? I can do that. I can show it to you again. Not only can you go native 4K, but you can go to 5K. You can go up to 5K resolution. If you if you really want to, you can go up to 5K resolution. Okay. They even have a native resolution for 1440p monitors. Okay. So this is what you're getting with Dolphin, and this is through Direct 3D. This is not like me selecting a resolution so it upscales. I know the difference between upscaling. My YouTube name, it's all about upscaling. I know the difference between an upscaling and a difference between eternal resolution being outputted. This is eternal resolution being outputted through Direct 3D. Direct X, if you will. 11. Direct X 11. Graphical configuration. Right here. Through Dolphin 5.0. What you're looking at here, it's a native 4K being outputted. There is nothing here being upscaled, okay? And it looks fantastic on X900E. This is a Nintendo GameCube game that's being rendered through Direct X11. 
and Dolphin emulators are able to utilize that through your GPU on a PC. This, my friends, it's native 4K. What you're looking at here, it's a native 4K. There is no upscaling here done whatsoever. Not only is it native 4K and looks gorgeous, but at the same time, it's using a DirectX 11, Direct 3D 11. Not OpenGL, but Direct3D, DirectX 11, to render all of this. So, if this was upscaled, it would look like my previous video that I did with uh, Shenmue. All right, it would be using its original source of 480p and then being upscaled to 4K. I know what the upscale is. And I know what the eternal source rendering native resolution is. The word native should tell you. I just showed it to you, didn't I? Not see the difference between me and other people is I don't talk out of my ass. I show it to you. I pick up my freaking camera and I show you. Okay. Well, there you have it. A little short video. This is native 4K. Take a good look.